Hey guys, welcome back to our Tree Island series. Today we're going to be teaching ourselves Phaser JS. So Phaser JS is basically a JavaScript game engine. Uh, it looks pretty cool, and I've been wanting to learn this for quite some time. Well, today's the day, so let us begin. Right now, let's go to learn, learn. Um, okay, getting started. Mm -hmm. Installing a uh, web server, of course I need a web server. In installing a web server, simple HTTP, I do have Node.js, so I do have PHP too, so it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, wait, now, the downloading phaser. No, um, is there some sort of like phaser, phaser JS starter, um, GitHub starter, some sort of thing like that? Yeah, like a minimal starter project. Now this was created uh, last commit in 2019. No, not the one that we need. So I think we just follow the uh, the getting started with phaser 3. A guide, this guide is for phaser 3. If you're using phaser 2, please go here. Nope. In this tutorial, we're going to cover setting up a development environment with which you can build your phaser games. This will include running a local web server, picking, picking an ID, getting the latest version of phaser and checking it all works together. If you trust us that you do, you do not need you do not need a local web server for developing that you can skip the extension below and to part two. Okay, we always need a web server. So for macOS, um, I already do have Node.js and PHP built in, uh, so it shouldn't be a problem, I guess. Yeah, and if things go to hell. I also have Nginx. I have VS Code. Okay, downloading Phaser. Can I just get... Phaser is an open source project and available to download for free. There are no fees to pay when using Phaser, regardless if you use it for a commercial or free project. We use GitHub to manage the project and you have various options on how to download it. These are all explained on the download page. Okay, can I just get the zip tar file? Yes, GitHub provides the option to download the whole repository as a zip file of tar file. However, we would strongly recommend you learn to use Git instead. It will allow you to use easily to allow you to easily update to the latest version of Phaser as they are released. And if in time you wish to contribute code towards Phaser, it makes doing so much easier. If you don't fancy learning to use Git via a command line, there are no, there are some other Git applications you can use instead. We'd recommend Smart Git on Windows or Git R on OS X. I already have Git installed. Hello world. Um, okay, with your editor set up, web server installed, and Phaser downloaded. Uh, but where did we download Phaser? Get Phaser by cloning the repository or grabbing the JS file. Okay, so cloning the repository. Oh, we, we can simply use an npm too, so... Ah, okay then. So I think I'm gonna make a new repository. Close this down. Yo, let me check. Is the volume too high? Uh, let me put it a little, a little bit lower, like that. Yeah, so right now I have the mic a lot closer to my... Uh, to where it usually is. So my volume should be a little bit higher. Zoom in for your comfortability. Okay, now CD, desktop, person, projects. Um, make directory, phaser, uh, til underscore underscore phaser. Yeah, this is it. Clear, got clear. CD, til underscore phaser. Yeah. Um, simply add the phaser download the version in npm okay yarn add phaser 
Okay, this is good. Now, um, let's see, touch, it's going to be index.html. It's going to be also touch, uh, touch main.js. Uh, yep. Code that. Open VS Code. Yeah, and let me close my. Disable until sunrise. So in my package.json, I only have phaser. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's let's create a simple. Let's go. Um, hello world. Okay, doc type phaser. Var game in equal new game function preload scripting. Testing, test your web server, have an error, here's the full code. Okay, how about I simply... Um, how about we do this? Um, well, well, I do not have the, the assets installed. Okay, this is weird now. We, we use github to manage that they're always in our download page okay your your download page okay but from where do I get the actual uh, these the assets file from where do I get that And why would I need to clone this whole repository? God, th th this is weird. API documentation, we can also use TypeScript, which is cool. Okay, let's, let's, let's follow a different tutorial. Okay, uh, this seems like a proper tutorial. Requirements, download the zip file. Open the part one that HTML page in editor. If you show us a closer look at the file, then after a little bit boilerplate. You know what? Uh, let me simply go to documentation. API docs uh, npm npm install phaser API documentation uh, then let's see creating your first phaser 3 example and you create an index of HTML page locally paste the following code in it no problem index.html uh, I would not need to import this, but to be fair, okay. Let me let, uh, let me let me add a title tag. Uh, let me zoom in also. Title um, phaser JS, and in the scripts. Uh, Script, script, scripting, uh, script, goddammit, uh, scripts, uh, JavaScript, uh, adding, adding scripts, script, yep, script to HTML. Okay, this is weird. Script.src like that. Self closing. Um, Main.js. This is fine. Then in my main.js from 
bar config will filter the auto okay now uh, import phaser from phaser okay let's hope this this works right now and then now in my var gaming will new phaser again preload preload yeah let's let's simply do this I do not have the assets god damn it where the hell are the assets files during our development you create hundreds of examples in the face or you can browse them in phase three learn more or clone the okay clone this example then okay so so simply cloning this example if I simply close this if I open my terminal ls cd not that get clone uh, let's see phase there three examples so while this is loading let me check some stuff you know what it's uh, uh, this is really loud Now just increase it a little bit for you guys. We're just way too loud for my ears. You know, uh, we, we should eventually do like a Road to Glory project with Phaser because it seems really interesting. Is it done? Yeah, it's no, not yet. Oh god, the internet is taking a piss right now. It's like 26 megabytes. Okay, now phaser 3 um, yarn or or like man, uh, best examples. tutorial uh, getting setting up phaser 3 yep. making your first phaser 3 and then phaser how to create a game with phaser 3 game dev academy learn and why phaser game dev to, uh, there's an actual website for phaser game for phaser engine let me see what does this cover if you don't have a text editor uh this is a pretty good tutorial wait so now getting started with phaser 3 and then the tutorial ends am i right Okay, uh, uh, I, I've decided to watch this then. Let me watch this. We have different kinds of 2D games. Um, we'll be using free software to set up our framework in this video. Start by downloading Phaser from its web page phaser.io. Download only the phaser.min.js. Okay, yes, sir. We are gonna do that. But, okay, yeah, uh, this is gonna take some time. There's, a, there's, there's an actual TypeScript guide. Okay, let's check that out. Interesting, okay. No, um, I want to download the thing.
download page min.js minimize okay this is installing my game folder or whatever you want man this is a really high quality tutorial okay just let me I can just screw this for now cd dot dot my game file cd my game file you should always follow tutorials to, to the t you know um let's see code dot let's open it in vs code let's close this and then let's put this over to phaser i mean the js we have game game.js okay we make a new file game.js game.js okay Uh, now in your game.js write the following code window the onload function window dot onload okay now why isn't this giving me this when overwriting we try okay now window and close then Save. Okay. Window dot onload. Okay. Uh, why isn't VS Code giving me any uh, any snippets? Window download equal uh, function function uh, var game equal new phaser dot game. New instance of phase the game, yep. Uh, then in the same folder, create an index.html file. Index.html. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, what did I want to write? Yeah. Dot. Let's put this uh, phaser game. Why isn't VS Code giving me any suggestions? Why uh this is Russian. Why isn't VS Code not giving uh suggestions? In Telesense VS Code. You have now opened this should not be enough for on any shop. Yes, yes, code not giving, giving, not giving suggestions. This code can infer the types in many cases, but sometimes you need to explicitly annotate the, them in GGS docs. Okay, I'm gonna... Uh, let's go to my extensions. JavaScript, JavaScript, yes, code snippets, um, Babel, JavaScript, 
uh, syntax highlighting, okay. JavaScript and TypeScript, uh, no, in Intelli, IntelliSense. Code snippets for JavaScript. Visual code uh, in Telecode. Babel JavaScript, PHP, IntelliSense JavaScript, and TypeScript. Nightly latest JavaScript and NPM IntelliSense. Ah, yes, like uh, this would be useful also. Anyways, script uh, type equal text slash JS. Let's see what's this text slash JavaScript. What just how about we read this and we open the music back again? Uh, text as JavaScript source equal source is equal to let's see, we'll do one for phaser phaser the amend the JS. This be self closing. We do one more for the game.js. Game.js. Yep. So if I run this, if I um, if I run this on my, I think I do have like live server. If not, simply um, PHP run server. I think. Uh, how do I do that? PHP uh, run server. Uh, Built-in web server. Yep. This all in the run exam, uh, PHP 4, PHP sl uh, slash s, yep. PHP slash s, PHP slash s, uh, loc local host 8000. Phaser game, yep. But I do not see you. Console. Failed to re the server responded with status code 404 not found. Dev tools failed. Uh, what was not found? Game.js. I think it's like like that. And this and this is also like that. Console. Could not load content for Chrome extension. Okay, now this screw this screw this Chrome Chrome extension. How about if I open this in in incognito mode? Maybe something is stopping it from working properly. That's that's the game game canvas. Uh, I do not see this game canvas. Game.js game.min.js Okay, uh, let me try running live server on it. Live server. Live server is installed. Good. Okay, I have live server installed. Run code. Um, control P live. No, wait. Uh, control. I think can. Now control something to open the command line. View command palette, yeah. Live server. Okay, now why isn't this working? God damn. 
Okay, the the Fabicon is not found. Okay, wait. Uh, did I miss something? Phaser domain, then new phaser. Phaser that game. Okay, let's see what did I miss? Window dot onload equal function var game equal new phaser dot game. Yep. So what the hell is different? Okay, how about I change this to this? Okay, and if I open my local 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 host three thousand. Uh, what's wrong with this? Cl closing, 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 closing. Uh, uh, lo local host 8000 god why aren't you working okay uh, let us check the comments script type um, is the issue that I, it's like that I cannot have like self self closing tags and scripts. Ah, okay. So th that was the problem. Uh huh. Okay. Now let's test everything is running right. Window go to localhost my game folder. You see a black screen like this. That's the game game canvas. Ah, okay. So if we inspect element console phaser 3 webgl running yep let's go always okay let's watch the second video yeah he also has has a part 3 which is nice the project files in this second tutorial we'll see what the phaser screens can do Scene one that is okay, so it's just simple. Game.js. Here we are creating a new game instance that we can configure when creating it. Uh, so we can also write var conf we can edit the configurations. We store all that in an object variable called config, then we pass it on to game. So if I do this, var config equal var config width 8000 height 600. Height 600, uh, background color, background color, uh, okay, uh, how about I simply just put thread, will that work? Then if I, if I, if I pass this on, be the game, okay, this is uh, the background. The background color uh, is, is isn't working. Okay, if I do zero, if I if I do it in this format, zero x, let's see, and three other zeros, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, it's uh, I I would presume that this is black. Okay, wait. If I change this to like two hundred. Yeah, okay, so this works with the background color. 
let's see uh what color did zero x ff okay let's see if this works ff oh, yeah okay so so the colors are working then i was i was about to wait Yeah, we pass as a param as a parameter to the game phaser scenes phaser uses you scenes to organize its content okay uh, i think uh, it's gonna be better if we let's let me just increase the volume a little bit like in, increase the volume man. There are, these scenes are places where ever, the elements of the game live in in phase that you can create as many scenes as you want and you can create them dynamically at any time several scenes in the same game for example a scene can be a title screen for the game have another for the game and another for the world map ah okay have a communicate have communication between each other you could create the scenes in the same file but, but for a better organization we'll create each scene in a separate file first we can make two new javascript files scene one the js and two the js okay scene scene two the js And include them in our index.html. Scene one dot js. Scene scene two dot js. Now we'll create the class definition for each file. Okay, notice this name of the class and the definition has the first letter is uppercase the same as the file name. Uh, so it must be capitalized. Then probably should change this too. Like that, then mm, class. Class scene one class scene one extends phaser dot scene constructor constructor uh, super bootkin Scene two is going to be similar. This is scene two. The constructor function called super, which makes the class inherit all the characteristics. Yeah, it inherits all the characteristics from scene two. As a parameter, we pass boot game that will be it, it's an identifier. Ah, okay, so we identify this. Yeah, we will put the game from here and file scene to be wrote the same something similar. How now we identify play game? So this is a scene called play game and this is a scene called boot game. Uh, times to speed. The scenes are controlled by the following for first the init function which is used to prepare data. Okay, so so this is where we start our game then the preload uh, wait is to prepare our data which is the okay we, which which is the width height and so on and so forth then the pre preload function to load the music and images then the create function is used to add objects so it's when the uh, rendering starts uh, ah yeah and, and 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 the update updates constantly Let's not forget to specify in the configuration of the game that the newly created scenes we can. 
scene equals scene one, scene two. Uh, let's let's make this black again. Scene. Uh, it's an array. Scene one, scene two. Let's not forget to specify the configuration. Yeah, yeah. Now we're going to put. Wait, what? Now we're going to put what? Now we we write the function create create within the class just below its constructor function. Uh, okay, create over here. Create uh, this this dot add dot text twenty twenty loading game. Text loading game. Let's check this out. Okay, why isn't this working? Scene one is not defined. Scene one is not defined. Uh, export class scene one. Export class scene two. Now we simply import scene one from dot slash scene one scene two from dot slash scene two. Let's do this the cannot use import statements outside the module. Okay, uh, what's wrong with this then? Uh, didn't I specify this properly? Scene1.js and scene2.js. Okay, so what's wrong? One cut reference scene1 is not defined at game.js. Did I miss something? Ah, okay, I yeah, got it, got it, because this is, this loads before the game.js. Now this should work. Loading game, yep. This is a very basic way to create text. We just specify the x and y axis in the text to display. Now we will switch to this to the scene two from this scene. Now we will switch to the scene two from this scene and add the code as shown here. Uh, this is scene two. Ah, uh, this this dot scene dot start play game. Uh, This dot scene dot start play game. So we are starting the second scene. Yeah, because the second scene is empty. Add the following code in, in, to the scene two to display a different color text in the text. So it's gonna be like that. Um, create method. Playing game and then some styling font 25 pixel 25 pixel uh, area fill yellow. Okay, this seems good. I should play game. Okay, this is working. It 
Since the jump happened immediately, you won't see the text from screen one. Yeah, that's it for the video. Until next time. Okay, wait. So, um, how long is this tutorial series? Okay, so it's thirteen videos. And we have spent uh, how much time so far in this video? Okay, 41 minutes. Okay, this is really long. So anyways, guys, um, I'm going to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And we'll see you in probably part 2 and part 3 of these videos.